What's going on everybody? It's your boy Tizel83 and I just want to say thank you so much for stopping by and checking out the video. If you would at the end, like, comment, share the content that you've watched and of course if you haven't already feel free to tap the subscribe button down below. Well, 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 what do we have here? Oh, just the very first PC exclusive on the Tizel83 YouTube channel. The very first ladies and gentlemen. Played on, recorded on, my gaming rig, PC, video that I've ever done on the TZ83. For those of you who donated, again, thank you so much. I know I've said that. I beat you over the head with it. I don't care. I'm going to keep saying it. Thank you guys so much. All the way from Fry, Damon Fire, Focus, SoCom Buck, to the Fry Nation, to the fans of the Digital Fire Podcast. You guys kick ass. You're the reason why I got to dive into this freaking amazing game divinity original sin 2 so let's dive into it really quick we're not you know how i am i don't like to make super long videos and ramble on and shit like that let's talk about this game really quick i'm looking at the actual steam page i'm going to read their description everything off the steam page then i'll i'll uh, give you just my overall opinion of the game after we do that so all right the eagerly anticipated sequel to the award-winning rpg gather your party master deep tactical combat Join up to three other players, but know that only one of you will have the chance to become a god. How about that? Yeah. So, yeah. Divinity Original Sin 2 right now, reviews are very positive. That's closing in on 14,000 total reviews. The release date earlier this year. I know I'm late to the game. What else is new? September 14th, 2017. Published and developed by Larian Studios. Now, if you're curious what you're in for, you know, Ty, what kind of popular user-defined <laughs> tags are for this particular product? Uh, so the tags are, according to Steam, RPG, turn-based, co-op, adventure, and fantasy. So again, maybe you're driving down the road and you're listening to this on your, you know, through your through your Bluetooth in your car, and, and you're not actually watching the video, and you're curious what you're in for. Other than that, if you're actually watching the video, you know that wow, this this looks like a RPG. <laughs> looks like an adventure fantasy RPG. And oh yeah, the combat looks like it might be turn-based. So again, if you're watching, you know, but in case you're not, there you go. There's your tags. Uh, I really like the game. I I don't want to give too much away, but I mean, it's you're in for a treat here. I mean, what's really unique about this game, not only it looks, you know, it looks gorgeous, they accomplished the, in the looks department, I mean, holy God, like this is one of the best looking games. I know, Ty, wait till you dive into more games on PC, you're going to be blown away. I know. I played the Destiny 2 beta and it was gorgeous, but um, I was kind of blown away by the just the you know the specifics that they nail here. Like if you really zoom in, like it it's like you're taking a picture. It's the the clarity is unreal. The the smoothness, that frame rate, baby, talk about it. But again, it's uh, it's a gorgeous game. But one of the things that's really unique about the game. And it's funny because I was actually talking with some friends of mine about the game. And we're talking about our experiences. And we started, we, we went in on a certain quest. I'm not going to talk about the quest. But apparently someone in this quest line, if you keep them alive, they actually help you out later. Well, I killed the son of a bitch. I killed him. I killed him. And I got a totally different experience. That's one of the unique things about this game. Like the odds of you from start to finish having even a similar type of, uh, you know, experience is going to be pretty rare with you and your in your buds you and your pals assuming you're interested in this type of stuff i think that's awesome and it's really unique and it's something that uh i'm glad to see someone bring it back but again the combat supreme look if it's hard to really mess turn-based combat up but then when you kind of when you add in the type of you know the the tactical side of things to the game to the combat to the overall combat it adds another uniqueness to, to the to the combat system and just to the game itself. So there is, you know, there's going to be a learning curve because of that. Because there is, it's really tactical. It's very tactical. It's very, it's really important that you that you go in. Kind of, I would even recommend maybe googling like things that you need to know going into going into the game. I I'm not here to do that because I'm still learning and I may give you <laughs> I may give you wrong information because I'm still learning. I'm at I don't even know how many hours. I should look. I'm looking at my Steam page right now, and I don't see it. Oh, I meant there it is. 55 hours right there. But 55 hours. I'm still learning things. But the one piece of advice I will give you 
And it, that's, again, if you're interested in the game, and obviously you are because you're watching this video and you're still listening to me, get a healer. Designate your healer. Designate your tank and your DPS. Holy Trinity is very alive in this game, and it's so fucking cool to see in this game. It's really neat to say that. I've I've played a lot of turn-based games over the, over the last uh, year or two. Darkest Dungeon, Persona... A lot of them. There's a couple others are they're just at the tip of my tongue and I can't think of them. But this right now is easily the, the maybe one of the best turn-based uh, uh, combat games I've ever played. One of the best RPGs and maybe even so far where I'm at right now, it might very well be my game of the year for 2017. We still got a few weeks to go. There's still some games left that I want to play. I still need to play the new Call of Duty. Uh, I need to play Star Wars Battlefront 2. I know there's a lot of political mumbo jumbo, a lot of bullshit going on there with EA and and uh, and everything. But it looks like that might be resolved to some extent. So I need to, I need to play some more games. But I'm telling you guys right now, if you're into fantasy RPGs, this is going to be something you need to check out for sure. A lot of fun. The story I'm very interested in. It's a pretty slow-paced game, and again, there's a little bit of a learning curve there, but I, trust me, once you get it figured out, you're going to be addicted to this game. All right? Thank you guys so much for stopping by and checking out my very first PC exclusive for the Tizel83 channel. I really do appreciate it. Again, shout out to everybody who helped make this possible. You guys know who you are. Much love. Again, thank you guys so much. Remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, all that wonderful stuff. Until the next video, you guys try like hell to be kind to one another, okay? All right. Peace.